Hi, this is the fourth video for the concept loops. We are going to continue to see lot more examples about for loop. In the last video, we saw an example in which i was increased by 1, correct? i was 1, then it became 2, then it became 3 and then it became 4. That is very good. But instead of increasing by y, can we increase by 2 or 3 or any number, even 25? Yes, we can. How do we do that? In the for loop syntax, in the range section, we gave two values, correct? The start value and the stop value. In the same section, we can also give one more value. This is called the increment value. When we don't give a value, Python will increase the value from the start to the stop by one. That is why in the last example, even if we did not give a value, it was increased by 1. But if we want to increase by 2, we can give it here as the third value. So now we have a start value, stop value and an increment value. Clear? Okay, let us go to Python quickly and see some examples. This is the same code we wrote in the last exercise. Let me run this code once. So welcome to code panel is printed four times. Now in this code, I am going to add one more value for range. I will add 2 as the third value. So 1 is the start value, 5 is the stop value and 2 is the increment value. Let me comment the print section this time. Now let us save the file and run this code. Now code pun is printed only two times. Oh my god, what happened? Let us see what happened. Let me uncomment the print statement inside the loop and let us check the value of i. Now save the file again and run the code. Now the value of i is 1 first, then it is increased by 2 and it became 3. Then it was increased by 2 again and it became 5 and python did not run the loop anymore. So when we increment by 1, the loop ran 4 times and if we increment by 2, then it you can have just 2 steps. It has only 2 steps. So now, what should we do if we want this loop to run 5 times and print welcome to code panel 5 times. Okay, so let us write it. So what will i value be if it has to go 5 times? So it will be 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9, correct? So we have five values. So nine is the last value. So, but we want nine also to be included. So let us increase our last value to 10 because we are checking for less than condition. So if we say nine is equal to nine, it will not be included. So if we want nine also to be included, we will increase our stop value to 10. Okay. So now let us change the stop value to 10 in this code. Now save the file and run the code. Now the loop is run 5 times 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 and code pun is also printed 5 times. Wow! Did you see that we just printed odd numbers? Amazing! So what will we do if we want to print even numbers? First let us write down the output we want to print. So the output should be 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Correct? So which means the increment value should be 2, which we already have. We know the increment value. Now let us see what the start and the stop value should be. So what will be the start number? What is our first number in the range? 2. So that will become our start number. So let us put 2 as the start value. Now what should we do about the stop value? When we wrote the range, the last value was 10, correct? But we also want 10 to be included. So we will increase the stop value to 11. So now we have 2 as a start value, 11 as a stop value and 2 as the increment value. Now let us go to Python and write the code. So we write for i in range 2 comma 11 comma then the colon 
then print i save the file and run the code so the first five even numbers are printed as output so we got 2 4 6 8 and 10 so we have seen two examples for incrementing in for loop can you write one more program to increment by 3 and print the first 10 values we can start with 1 so the first value will be 1 and then you increment by 3 the next value will become 4 then the next value will be 7 and the next value will be 10 and so on so i want first 10 values to be printed please try this exercise and i'm sure you like this a lot i will see you in the next video see you